You're not going to hate me. <laughs> Hello, welcome to DJ360. If you're watching on YouTube, please take some time to be here with these amazing people live every morning. 9.30, it starts and it goes till whenever. Um, this is my friend Erad here. Erad has a video. It is entitled, Bangle Carrier Added to Star Citizen 3.23, an Arena Commander and Roadmap Update. Let's check it out. Oh, 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 I love it. I love Hello that, Erad. Hello and welcome that to cool the intro. channel. It's Erad. And in today's video, we've got some news. A lot of news, guys. First, we've got the roadmap update, of course, but also a very interesting Evocati patch with something very big coming, perhaps with Star Citizen of a 3.23. First, let's have a look at what is coming up with 3.23 in the roadmap. We already know that tons, tons is landing, and I've already seen Salty Mike, and I think uh, uh, some type of podcast where Salty Mike and Kronzi were together in the same uh, podcast, and Salty Mike was like already upset because it's not going to be what everybody expects expects it to be and we we know what it's gonna be and blah 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 you know like why can't the dude just be excited <laughs> like i mean like i you know you know that's what's gonna happen anyway just go outside and touch some grass we're gonna watch that later that's a whole nother video we're gonna watch but like i saw the first like 10 15 seconds and he was already like upset and it's like man with all the new features coming even if there's bugs and everything like how can you just not take the time to realize like how like cool this is the direction that we're going it's crazy to me with all the new things happening it's just crazy the copion and the Marok are coming we talked about right, it on the right. channel already but did you know that missions are coming as well yes some creature hunting missions are coming we got too. creatures new missions that require players to locate kill and retrieve right. valuable it always parts does of right, e roaming the environment that's really exciting but on top of that a feature that we've been expecting for years and years and years has been discussed for years and years and years at this point. Vehicle modularity is finally yes. coming to Star Citizen yes. with the Retaliator, which is getting its gold standard. Yes, the tally. And here they're in I said this. I said one of the very first is going to feature. We already knew this, by the way. It was it, it was designed to be this way. It was their modular like revenue cash cow, and they're gonna. And I said that this is going to be starting going to be the norm, which is modularity and ships is going to be additional revenue streams. A lot of people get upset when I say that. I don't because I understand a business needs to find always new revenue streams. And modularity and ships that are tally and larger makes sense to me. You know, Carrick should have modular uh, modularity. There's the, like a lot of larger ships should just have like modularity to fit whatever the go whatever the role is that you want. And I think they'll bring in tons more revenue that way, where they'll sell a base model and then you'll have like all your mods that you want for different price points. And some people go, "Oh, that's terrible. That's exploiting your fan base and your customers." But like that's what businesses and capitalism do to bring in new streams of revenue to to finish. The, the game that we want, you know? It's just part of capitalism. Implementing the ability to swap yeah. modular I, I sections like of certain vehicles to change their functions. This initial release contains the torpedo and cargo room for the Aegis Retaliator with additional modules and vehicles to be added in the future. This is super important because a lot more vehicles are going to have modularity. Some vehicles were yep. sold with modularity in mind. We think of the Galaxy, for example. And so this is awesome. I cannot wait to see how we are going to be able to swap swap different modules first with a retaliator and maybe that's a good sign to come for future yep. vehicles that were designed yep. with modularity yep, they in will. mind now that being said we also have a patch for evo Caddy here and this patch is mostly about stability so not much gameplay that was added except for further moby glass uh, and map ui polish and also some uh, creature movement polish pass so th they're focusing on that it's as i said mostly stability but some features regarding arena commander have been updated and you really want to hear this yes, out right guys there. because yes, this dude. is going to basically make the functional interactable debut 
of the Bengal class carrier flagship. I know we've seen that during Invictus launch week before, but this is actually the first time that it's going to be Those are part BSG of an vibes, actual man. The gameplay carrier. loop here. BSG because vibes, when it comes to Parrot Swarm, there's going to be an update here. The Javelins of the UEE response fleet are under routine maintenance. I guess that's what they are saying in game, right? So to ensure we keep the Parrot Swarm at bay, a Bengal class carrier flagship would now host the A8 Lightning Squadron as part of the response fleet against the stolen pirate Idris. This is awesome. Why is that? Erad says there were tons of aftershocks when I recorded this. So sorry if I don't sound very confident. I wonder what's going on with Erad. Why? Why, is, why so, Erad? And. There is also a reason why they are making this possible. Why did they choose to suddenly put a Bengal class carrier flagship? That's because until now, Arena Commander did not feature persistent entity streaming. Oh, well, Rader, that okay? is now the case here. Streaming has been enabled across all of Arena Commander. This technology was previously exclusive to the persistent universe and allowed CIG to stream. Here I thought he was talking about in the social platform world. I thought he was talking he got like aftershocks or bad comments from people. And he's actually talking about aftershocks from an earthquake because he lives in Taiwan and got a 7.5 earthquake there. I didn't even hear that news. I didn't even hear that. I hope you're okay, you read. My God, man. That's that's crazy. I mean, only what was needed in the area. This change will allow CIG to streamline their location porting to oh, utilize references terrible, to locations dude. rather than copies, meaning that if the PU updates, so oh, will no, Arena dude. Commander. Additionally, streaming will see performance improvements across select maps as they continue to convert them to take full advantage well, of good. streaming over the next few patches. And as I said, taking advantage of streaming in Arena Commander can allow them to bring more assets and bigger assets and these are taking the form here of a Bengal class carrier. This is... And that's that's great news, and that's cool. And they're sliding it over to show you the work that's been done because of Squadron 42. They're pushing it up into Arena Commander so you can see it, so you can witness the size, so you can, uh, you know, just see the enormity of the ship itself. This is great. This is great. This is awesome. Of a Bengal class carrier. This is awesome. And yep. that's another motivation here to play Arena Commander. It was yep. really great to play that with the Idris fight at along, the end. Man. And They're coming right along. the Bengal. I mean, yeah, of course we're going to play that. Anyway, that is all for this quick update. As always, if you enjoyed it, Very let me know cool. with a thumbs up. Can't wait to see that um, footage. Are you going to uh, play Arena Commander? Do you play Parrot Swarm with your friend? I want to know everything. It's been a while comment section down Swarm. below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. Video. Shout out to Dr. Fabin Zero Crusher Deplorer Bush Fidel and Ducky to Ducker. I'll see you. Let, let's let's uh let's give him some love here. I'm gonna put the link into the live. If you're watching on YouTube, go to the description, go subscribe to my friend Erad. Absolutely love him. I'm gonna like that video right there. He's got four thousand views on that. Twenty one point one thousand subscribers. Let's keep it going. Let's get him to twenty five thousand subscribers. Erad, I love you, bud. I hope you're safe. Um and uh yeah, I, I didn't even hear that news. That's insane, dude. That is insane. Thank <laughs> you.